Good morning. What if you could live in perpetual peace? You just, that, that's where you lived. Well, according to Colossians chapter 3, you, you and I, as believers, we can. Believers can live in perpetual peace. The scripture says, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. Let it be the governing force of your hearts, the peace of God be the governing force of your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace. To live in peace is the calling of God in your life and always be thankful. That's Colossians chapter three, verse number 15. So if you're a believer in Christ, living in peace is actually your calling. People often say, well, I I want to know what my calling is in God. What What am I called to do? Well, according to scripture, you're called to live in peace. That that is your not just a destination, but it's also a dwelling place. Yes, it's a place to get to. I'm I'm getting to this place of peace. I want to gain peace, if you will. But when we become believers, we, we get the peace of God. He is the Prince of Peace, and He's living within me. He's living within you. And so it, it becomes a destination, but it becomes also a dwelling place, a place that becomes our continual habitation. We live in a perpetual state or sense of peace. And, and, and it's not automatic, however. It's allowed. It's allowed by you. It's allowed by me. He said, let the peace of God. That, that's a choice that you and I make. It, it comes from Christ. It's, it's, not, it's a specific peace. It's, it's not any peace from any place. You and I can gain a sense of peace or a momentary peace from many things, from a pleasurable activity, from going out into nature. We can, we can experience a momentary peace in many different ways, but the only way to experience a perpetual peace, a dwelling place peace, is through the peace that comes from Christ Jesus. See, you and I, we're not looking for a dopamine hit. We're not looking to feel good for a minute. We're looking to live in a life of continual peace. That's what he, that's what he said we could have. That's what his scripture says we're called to. And so we want to make our residence this place of peace. So you and I choose to do that. I choose today. God, I'm going to live in your peace. Whatever comes, whatever happens, I'm not going to allow it to disturb the peace that I have in you. I'm going to trust you completely. I'm going to rely on you completely. And whatever comes my way, I know you're going to handle it because I choose. I've chosen you, the all-powerful one, and I'm going to live in peace today. As soon as you make that decision, something's going to try to steal that peace from you. The enemy, your carnal nature... Something going on in the world is going to try to steal that peace from you and you're going to have a reason to get rid of peace. But you and I, we've chosen today to live in peace. And so don't let it happen. And the best way I know to consistently live in peace is to do what this verse continues to say. It says, and always be thankful. Gratitude, gratitude brings a sense of peace in our life. When we start Counting the blessings that we have, the, the, the things that are beautiful in our world. Yes, there's difficult things. Yes, for sure. But think about the beautiful things that are there. And, and as you start counting your blessings, you will realize exactly how beautiful God is in your life. And peace begins to blossom once again. Gratitude is a powerful tool in living in this sense of perpetual peace. And so today, let gratitude and peace become your dwelling place. Find a way to express gratitude. As soon as something's trying to steal that peace from your life, start finding something to be grateful for. Give a kind word to somebody. Thank someone for a a job well done. Look at something in your life and say, look at how blessed I am. And and you will see that that dwelling place of peace just become more and more real, more and more accessible in your life. So, Father, I pray, I pray that we would continually be thankful. And that sense of gratitude comes right along in hand with that dwelling place of peace that you you said that we can live within. And so I, I, I believe you for it. I thank you for it. And today we believe that this is going to be a great day in Jesus' name. Amen.